Control at Contact is a Somatic Manager special feature that allows an operator to control an input or memory bit from the code. We will begin by opening a block. Let's open FC14. The first and very important step is to enable Control at Contact in the Programming Editor. To do this, select the Options menu. Select Customize. At the General tab, place a check in the box Control at Contact. If this feature is not enabled, Control at Contact will not work. And click OK. Let's enable Input 1.0 and Memory Bit 2.0. Enabling contacts is done at the Symbol table. To open the Symbol table, select Options. And click Symbol table. Scroll down to find the inputs. and right-click T Acknowledge Fault I1.0. Select Special Object Properties, and then click Control at Contact. You'll see a flag appear to the left of the input. Now go down and right-click on the test contact M2.0. Select Special Object Properties again, and Control at Contact. A flag appears in the column next to Test Contact. Scroll down to the outputs. Right-click L Wait and Valid Q4.0 and enable Control at Contact. Here you see that outputs cannot be enabled for Control at Contact, only inputs and memory bits. Save the symbol table and close it. Turn the monitoring glasses on in the block. We're looking for a button where you see the highlights. If you enable Control at Contact in the Options Customize window for the first time while the block is open, you may have to close and reopen the block for the changes to take effect. So let's close the block and reopen it. Turn the monitoring glasses on. And now the buttons appear over Input 1.0 and Memory 2.0. You will see that the actual input is not true. Now press the button and the contact goes true while the button is depressed. Release the button and the actual input's value takes priority again. Memory bit 2.0 was placed here for demonstration purposes. Let me note that if your memory bit contact is also used as a coil somewhere in the code, control at contact will not work because the coil has higher priority. Let's press the button. Now release the button. When we did this with the input, the state returned to zero because the actual wired input was false. But here with the memory bit, the state remains true because there's no real world input writing a zero into the image table. You can de-energize this contact with a right click and modify to zero. And as you can see, you can also energize this bit with a right click and modify to one if you like. In this video, you have seen that Control at Contact must first be enabled in the Programming Editor's Options and Customize window. Then inputs or memory bits, but not outputs, can be set up for Control at Contact in the Symbol table. This feature may be most useful for inputs, since a memory bit can be energized or de-energized with a right click, as long as it is not used as a coil somewhere else in the code. This concludes the video on Control at Contact.